What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday morning. I am feeling good, refreshed, rested, and ready to play some magic. So today we are going to be trying out another Arclight Phoenix deck, although this time based a lot more around Song of Creation. So a lot of the same pieces apply, but Song of Creation in particular is a very good engine for this deck. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's one a green, a blue, and a red for an enchantment. Uh, you can play an additional land on every turn. Uh, whenever you cast a spell, you draw two cards. And then at the beginning of your end step, you discard your entire hand. Uh, now, obviously, this is a very powerful card, and really, you have to capitalize on that discard, in my opinion. Uh, so the obvious way to do that is Arclight Phoenix. Obviously, it goes to the graveyard, you bring it back next turn with a few spells, and then you're good to go. Uh, Phoenix of Ash is a card I'm kind of trying out excuse me, in this list. Uh, I know I was watching like Noxious who uh, played a very similar list actually uh, and he ran like Bone Crusher Giants and stuff like that which I think gives you a lot more onboard uh, things to interact with the with the opponent's board. I think Phoenix of Ash kind of represents a different kind of threat where it's one that is recursive with this deck because obviously it goes to the graveyard that's fine we can escape it back uh, but not only that you know, we're playing additional lands on each of our turns. It's going to be easy to hopefully pump this thing up and deal tons and tons of damage along with the Arclight Phoenix. Uh, so that's kind of how I'm viewing it. Uh, now, in the uh, in the three drop slot here, we do also have Merchant of the Veil, mostly for the haggle. Uh, it gives you a way to discard a card and then draw a card, so it just gives you more reasons to, to kind of cycle through your deck. Obviously great to also just play out there, a way to get some uh, a mana sink out onto the battlefield, so good for that. Uh, in the two drop slot, really, this is where most of our deck lives. Uh, Thrill of Possibility and Cathartic Reunion all, th they kind of do a very similar thing where we're discarding a card from our hand to draw some cards. Now, uh, Cathartic Reunion, obviously, you're discarding two cards and drawing three. Uh, Thrill of Possibility is only discarding one and drawing two. Uh, but worth noting here, Obviously, these are the, the two cards that we're okay with discarding the most often, uh, but every time we do that, we get to draw an additional two if we've got the Song of Creation out, so it's just going to keep ourselves going, is the idea at least. Uh, Runaway Steamkin, a really good card in this deck, solely because it, uh, it's going to be uh, getting out counters very, very quickly, uh, and so that's going to give us a lot of extra mana to either pump up our Phoenix, uh, maybe draw and discard a card here, or just continue playing these spells that are going to get us the Arclight Phoenix back. Uh, Electrostatic Field is an interesting include here. I'm not 100% on this, but I do think it provides a way to threaten the opponent just by kind of shocking and doing tons and tons of stuff with, you know, cathartic reunions, thrill possibility, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I do think it has a home here. I think it's going to be an interesting way to, to see how this goes. It also just provides a blocker uh, for the early game threats, so I do like that. And then Shock is here for some onboard interaction. Uh, it's also a cheap way, you know, we shock somebody, we draw two cards. Uh, and so if, if we've got this out, every card in our deck essentially becomes high value. So uh, that's really the deck. Uh, as far as the land count goes, I kept it at 24. That might be incorrect. Uh, four really is our cap out here, but I did want to make sure that we had our land drops. So uh, I'm doing two and two on the forest and islands, mostly because we do have a couple of fabled passages in here. Uh, four on the mountain, uh, four steam vent, and four stopping ground are pretty easy, uh, just because you know we really don't want, uh, for instance, breeding pool in here, uh, just because breeding pool doesn't help us cast anything other than song of creation. So we want all of our dual lands to have a little bit of red with them. Uh, Temple of Epiphany and Temple of Abandon. I'm running two of each. I didn't want to go too high on these because we are looking <clears throat> to play these cards out pretty quickly. Uh, and so having tapped lands doesn't really do too much. And on that note, we do have the Ketria Triome. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, as a way, it's a, it is a tri land, so we can get that out pretty, uh, pretty nicely just to fix our mana. Uh, and then obviously cycle it away if we don't need it. Uh, it does come into play tapped though, so we are only running two. So we are going to jump in with this and hopefully uh, we can win some games. I have not played this deck at all. Uh, I've been playing around with the Song of Creation a little bit. 
uh, just off camera to see what kind of things I can come up with. I looked at a number of lists from a, no uh, a number of other YouTubers, and uh, this is kind of the list that I landed on. I'm not 100% on it, though, so we will take this as a learning experience. Um, I'm actually going to keep this. <clears throat> hmm. I think we're going to pitch that one away. Uh, so here we're kind of looking to get the field out very, very quickly here, just so we can start uh, gaining some extra value off of these reunions. That's going to be very helpful later in getting that forest out. So that is fantastic. Now let's see, they are just guy. Or should I say Ra Ra Ryugrin? Not sure. <laughs> I hope all of you guys are really enjoying uh, enjoying the uh, the new set. It's a it's a very fun set in my opinion. Now here, this is a bit of an interesting place. I don't think we really want to do much of anything right now, so I'm gonna actually put that. I'm gonna keep that one on top, uh, and we can pass. Uh, the great thing about at least Thrill of Possibility is that it is an instant. So if we would like to. Uh, you know, play it at the end of the turn here, or do something like that, we certainly can. Looks like they are the blue-white flyers deck. Uh, I do have a sim uh, an interesting list here with this uh, blue-white flyers deck. Don't know if I'm 100% sold on it yet, that's the only reason I haven't played it yet. Uh, but it is very interesting, to say the least. And here I don't actually think we need to play out the Song of Creation quite yet. I think what we need to do, ah, uh, maybe that's incorrect. Mm -hmm. I think that is incorrect, solely because we have the Phoenix of Ash, we can always uh, bring this back then. <clears throat> I hope you guys are all staying safe out there as well. Uh, I know... Uh, we keep getting, uh, we'll say, interesting reports on the COVID-19 updates, things like that. So hopefully you guys are all staying safe. Uh, please also, Song of Creation is very much a build around card. If anybody has a list uh, featuring Song of Creation that they're interested in sharing, uh, whether it be you know a YouTube link or anything like that, please share it in the comment section. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, just because this is a, a very interesting card, one I'm excited to try. Uh, in a lot of different lists. Uh, I think Arclight Phoenix kind of makes a lot of sense, but I think there's certainly a number of other places that we could really capitalize on it. Oh. So, let's get this out there. Let's draw a couple cards. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Get a couple lands out. It's actually quite good for us at the moment, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, and here, we're off to the damage race a little bit. Uh, we're certainly a little bit behind, but we do have another Phoenix of Ash that's going to get discarded here with a shock to kill, hopefully, one of these guys. So <clears throat> I do really like the Phoenix of Ash in this deck. I think it's quite good. Um, shock leads us to potentially a very, very strong turn this this upcoming turn here, so we will see. I really, really pump it out the flyers here, that's fine. <clears throat> here I kinda think we do have to kinda the the target needs to be the sky bonder a little bit. Ooh, okay. So now we are on the shocking of the opponent plan, it looks like. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Let's shock them. Let's do this. We'll discard that stomping ground there. Discard the Temple of Abandon. Let's 
Don't like paying that two life there, but, uh... This is a pretty big turn for us. I mean, we're certainly doing quite a lot here. And drawing quite a lot of cards. So now we do have at least, you know, a formidable board state that they are going to have to deal with. Now we're going to be discarding quite a lot of cards here. Uh, but of course we do have the Phoenix of Ashes to kind of take out uh, as we go. <clears throat> interesting, interesting list this. I think it's very cool. We kind of got to see ourselves go off a little bit, but unfortunately we we obviously have a long way to go here, so... Um, really? They sky-tethered this? That's an interesting include. Uh, sure. I'm happy to just jump block this Sephara, uh, but the problem we're going to be running into is they obviously have quite a bit of lifelink, uh, and so we're going to, uh, to unfortunately have a rough time getting through this damage. Very cool list by the opponent, though. Quite enjoy a, a good, a good just flyers list. Good thing about this is we're pretty much guaranteed to get the Phoenix back almost every time. And them attacking here does potentially give us a an opportunity to swing in with some damage of our own next turn. So, uh, I we obviously do have to get get a win this next turn. So it is going to be a bit of a challenge, but we will see. Okay, uh, electrostatic field does kind of help here. So let's play this out. Get the counter on Steamkin. Draw a couple cards. See what we get. Shock. Steals four damage and draws two cards for one mana, just for the record. That is what we are looking at. Let's add three here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, solely because we're we're thinning our deck as much as possible. Let's get a mountain. Let's get that out of there. Interesting, interesting gameplay. Okay. Another electrostatic field. Does that really help us that much? Potentially, yeah. Let's get this out. This does lead to some busted turns, I will say. I think we definitely need to trim down on the land count, by the way. Uh, I think that's definitely something we could be looking into. These runaway Steamkins doing quite a bit of work, as you're seeing, on just allowing us to, to continue playing as much as possible here. And we are going to potentially get there. Uh, we'll, we'll see. There is an Arclight Phoenix. So we will bring a Phoenix back, if I'm not mistaken, here. So... This is such a cool deck, guys. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Uh, very, very cool list. Uh, do you think, like I said, land count? Probably something that we could we could get rid of. Um, I 
Now I guess we just hope they can't. Wow. Are you serious? Wow. Okay. Well, well done. That means they've got it for sure. There's not much we can do there. So I'm going to go ahead and concede. That was very, very... Uh, I will say a bit of a corner case, but well done by the opponent holding on to that and leaving up that mana, so that was 100% right. A little bit salty, but uh, we did get to see the power level of the deck. I mean, obviously, if they had not had that card, uh, which you could always say, but had they not had that card, uh, we wouldn't be in a position where we could have easily finished them off. So, uh, very, very sweet uh, showing from the deck. Unfortunately, we didn't get a win. We'll give it two more games, uh, as we always do, and then we'll probably do a second video with this one. Uh, this is such a sweet list guys I, I really love this uh, I do think at some point we might uh, revisit this and maybe try and trim down uh, the the land count but we will uh, we will see uh, great that we get to lead on this tri land as well <coughs> uh, next turn we get to play out the field uh, the following turn we can probably just Phoenix of Ash uh, and then, ideally, if we draw quite, just one more land, we'll be in Song of Creation territory. And there's the land, so that's great. Let's go ahead and play out the field. Uh, this, hopefully, is going to be a very decent blocker if we can keep it on the field against these, you know, early game threats. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Shock is not bad. Uh, and in fact, I'm, I'm slightly tempted to just go ahead and shock this. In which case, that allows us to play the temple. We'll put that on the bottom. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and shock here. <clears throat> Remember, the Phoenix of Ash is, is great for us uh, the earlier we get it down. However, uh, if we discard it to the Song of Creation, that's not actually a bad thing. Uh, that in entirely makes sense because we'll be able to escape it back. So uh, it's completely fine if we're, we're in that situation. Uh, and this, again, hopefully doing a great job of kind of blocking down the board. Had they attacked there, it would have been a bit of a sign that they probably had uh, a a uh, burn spell there, uh, which it did not look like they did. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. <coughs> and now we will see what we can do. So next turn, we do have the Phoenix of Ash to go ahead and trigger the Song of Creation, hopefully drawing a few cards and getting some stuff. Uh, some good stuff in the graveyard. Looks like they are full Mardu. And I assume they're just humans, right? Yeah. Judith. Very, very good card. Okay. Well, in this case, then, I'm actually going to play this Phoenix of Ash. Great that we get to discard our hand here. Uh, gonna go ahead and let's pull out our mountain. Again, we don't need really any other color other than red uh, at this point. Um, go ahead and activate the ability here. Get as much damage in as possible. Um, get Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard, and then again, next turn, we still have this trigger in the graveyard, but, you know, depending on what we draw here, we might be able to do a little bit more, so... There's about an exile target creature in opponent's graveyard. Okay, well, that certainly gets rid of the Phoenix of Ash. So now we are in top deck mode. Uh, so well done. They're going to get rid of Arclight Phoenix. I'm not going to block here. <sighs> Just hope we don't dodge land. Okay, um, well, it's not a land. It's not great, but it's not a land. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Well, that was not what we were hoping to get. Uh, okay, here. Hmm. I don't think we actually attack, uh, unfortunately. <clears throat> we're in a bit of a rough position, given that they've got quite a bit of power. That's a very, very good card for them. So, uh, if they do swing in, 
Man, that is so good. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay, so I kind of think we just have to block some stuff here. Unfortunately, that is great on the opponent's side, so this human's deck is very potent. Yeah, okay, so we just lost there. I did not count it up. Uh, well done on the opponent's side. That was a very good showing from the uh, Mardu humans list, so we'll give this one more game. I still have high hopes for this list. Um, I don't think this is by any means a bad deck. I think this list could certainly use some work. Uh, oops, sorry. So we, we may be in a position where we just need to change up a few things, and that's okay. Uh, we are here to learn. This is still, you know, day, what, three, four of this new set, so uh, it's really, really fun to be able to try out these new cards and see what kind of brews we can come up with. Um, looks like this is a good keep. Get our try land out first. And hello. Looks like potentially humans or mono red. I'm gonna play out the steamkin here. Um, see if we can get ourselves some extra mana early. Uh, they may just have a burn spell, and and in that case, that that's totally fine. It looks like they probably are on the mono red plan, less so the uh, the humans plan. Very good by the opponent there. And I do think we might be a bit too slow to deal with this, but we will see. Hmm. I'm gonna actually shock here and try and keep ourselves kind of in it as long as possible. Um... I'm actually going to uh, not fetch until our turn, uh, solely to give us the best chance possible of getting a land. <clears throat> Is that right, though? Maybe that's not correct. No, I think I'm going to do this now, um, just so we can guarantee that we've got an untapped land here and then at least play these two spells. Okay, that makes this a lot easier. Okay, so the question is, do we Song of Creation? Or do we go for this? So... Hmm. Mm hmm. Or do we just play the Arclight Phoenix? That is a possibility, right? Let's do that. I'm not gonna attack here. I'm gonna try and keep ourselves alive. <clears throat> I, I'm trying plays here, so I'm not 100% sure that this is the right play. Um, but it didn't look like they played a land last turn, so anything we can do to uh, block up the board a little bit may be the correct thing. Looks like here they may not have another land either. Um, okay. They attack with these, we just block the, the score. Okay, they are only attacking with the score spitter, so let's go ahead and block there. I mean, sure. Did take a shock there, but again, they are low on land, so I'm kind of kind of banking on that a little bit. We'll we'll see what they can come up with. That is certainly going to shorten this clock, though. <clears throat> All right, so 
Oh, actually, that should have been the Scorch Spitter. That was a bit of a mistake. Um, I was kind of digging for a shock there, unfortunately we didn't get it. Uh, that does mean we just lose though, unfortunately, so. Uh, they, if they just attack with both of these, we, we take our two, so. Uh, good game by the opponent, unfortunately that was a bit of a misplay on my end, but that's okay. Uh, well done, yep. So no wins with the Song of Creation Phoenix deck, however, I do still have some high hopes for this. Uh, maybe it's just a rework that we need to get in order, uh, and maybe not, but I, I really do like this list. So I'm going to play around with it. We'll jump back in with another video very soon, so that way you guys can check out three more games with this. As always, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you'd like to do. We really do appreciate all of the support. Thank you guys so much for uh, for sticking with us and watching all these videos. We really do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying Ikoria, and I will see you in the next gameplay video.